Home hacking is on the rise in the U.S., but how is it possible that anyone can gain control of your personal electronic devices? It starts when you own a smart home. A smart home is a term that talks about devices that you can control remotely or automate. If you have a lock that you can open and close from your laptop, that's a smart home lock, a TV that you can control from your, your laptop or your smartphone and turn it on or off, change the channel, whatever, push some kind of media to it, that's a smart TV, that's a smart home product. That's Dan Crowley, a researcher at security company Trustwave. We asked Dan to set up a smart home for us, and using the house of a Fox & Friends staffer, within an hour, a home of the future was built. I have control over the lights in this room, the lock on the front door, and I also have control over a camera that's installed in the other room so I can see what's going on in that room. This control can be exercised from anywhere in the world. And just to prove the point, we took a trip to a local coffee shop to watch technology and privacy collide. We're a mile away from the house or so, and so we're going to get logged on and see if we can spy on the house. That's right. See just what a regular hacker might be able to see. Yep. Okay, let's go inside. So the homeowner here, she's at home. She's looking out the window right now. And this is live. Mm -hmm. And we can just watch everything she's doing. A criminal could be tracking her. That's right. Or as you point out, there are just creeps out there who, for fun, just watch people on their home video cameras. And according to Dan, the creeps don't have to be security experts. With some basic computer know-how, all a hacker has to do is send the victim a link. Once it's clicked, it's game over. When the homeowner clicks that link, this is what I get. So you use this data right here. Mm -hmm. After they clicked on a link. That's right. This and is that what I get. gets turned into a password. Right. I turn that into a password. And then you can log on to all their equipment that way. So how do you protect your devices? Our expert says it's not easy. But a good tip, keep the right company. It's really about the company. They really need to be doing penetration testing, security review. They need to be putting security in as a part of their uh, product development. And if your gadget doesn't offer password protection, don't even waste your time. That's a pretty basic mistake, and that says something about you know, what other mistakes could they have made if they made this very basic mistake? And whether it's the frightened father of a young victim of cybercrime. As a father, uh, you know, I'm supposed to protect her against people like this. Or Miss Teen USA, whose most private moments were stolen. The bottom line is, with technological progress comes potential danger. You never know when someone could be watching. And they are watching. Hackers can also crack your code on alarm doors, garage door openers, thermostats, hot tubs, you know, to jack up your bill. They can do all kinds of things. So really think twice before you do all this technology in your home. So a smart home might not be so smart. Not, absolutely. And the biggest concern is a robber or somebody spying on your kids or you and your personal moments. you got to really watch out for that. Yeah, we think Excellent. we're getting smarter. But yeah. maybe Great not. report. So, thank you. Excellent.